Hello, I wish you the best time. Welcome to this new lesson of the English language lessons on Anorba TV. Today we are going to talk about past continuous tense, the use and the form, and describing past actions. سنتحدث اليوم عن تكوين واستخدام زمن الماضي المستمر. Let's start. This is what my friends were doing yesterday morning at nine o'clock. Look at Ali. At nine o'clock, Ali was playing tennis. At nine o'clock, Ali was playing tennis. To understand this sentence, let's move to the timeline. Look at the timeline. At nine o'clock, Ali was playing tennis. Past, now or present, and the future. Ali was playing tennis. It means he started the action before nine o'clock and maybe finished it later. But when we are looking at him at nine o'clock at a specific time in the past, he was playing tennis. The action was in progress. So, Ali was playing tennis. Ali قد بدأ الحدث قبل الساعة التاسعة وربما أنهاه فيما بعد. ولكن عندما نظرنا إليه في نقطة محددة من الزمن الماضي وهي الساعة التاسعة كان ما زال مستمرا في القيام بالعمل. At nine o'clock, Ali was playing tennis. Let's move to another sentence. Look at Hiba. Hiba was riding a bike. Hiba was riding a bike. At nine o'clock, the action was still taking place. At nine o'clock, the action was still taking place. أي أن عند الساعة التاسعة وفي نقطة محددة من الزمن الماضي كان الحدث ما زال مستمرا. Let's move to another one. Look at Dana and Fadi. Dana and Fadi were having fun at the park. Dana and Fadi were having fun at the park. The action was still in progress at nine o'clock. كان الحدث ما زال مستمرا في الساعة التاسعة. Let's read the previous sentences. He was playing tennis. She was riding a bike. They were having fun at the park. All of these sentences are in the past continuous tense. كل هذه الجمل في الزمن الماضي المستمر. Let's talk about the use of the past continuous tense. We use the past continuous tense to talk about a progressive action at a specific point in the past. نستخدم زمن الماضي المستمر للتعبير عن حدث كان مستمرا في نقطة محددة من الزمن الماضي. Let's have these examples. Yesterday, it means in the past, at five o'clock, look at the man. He was watching TV. He was watching TV. Look at these children. They were watching TV. They were watching TV. To form the past continuous tense, we should start with the subject. He, they. And the past tense of where to be was where. Then followed by the main verb ending with ing. Watching, watch plus ing, watching. He was watching. They were watching. Let's read the previous sentences again. He was watching TV. He was watching TV. They were watching TV. They were watching TV. Let's talk in details about forming the past continuous tense. How do we form the past continuous tense? We should use the past tense of where to be, was or where plus the main verb ending with ing. But when do we use was and where? I, he, she, at, or any singular noun. A boy, the girl, the teacher, a nurse, Ahmed, Maya. I was, he was, she was, it was, and maybe Ahmed was. Working. The main verb with ing. I was working. He was working. She was working. 
it was working. When do we use where? Let's see. We, they, you, or any plural noun. The teachers, the nurses, the children, Maya and Ahmed. We were, they were, you were, the children were. We were working, they were working, you were working. Now, let's practice. Make sentences, use the past continuous tense. Look at the picture. I run fast. You should use these words to form a sentence in the past continuous tense. First of all, begin with the subject, which is I. What's the suitable past form or verb to be with I? Very good, was. I was, I was. Then comes the main verb run with ing. It becomes running, yes, very good. I was running fast. I was running fast. Read this sentence again. I was running fast. Let's move to another one. The words are she paint the wall. First, she was, yes, very good. She was painting the wall, yes, excellent. She was painting the wall. She was painting the wall. Another one. Read the words at first. They write a letter. First of all, start with the subject, they. What's the suitable past tense of verb to be? They were, yes, very good. They were writing a letter. Yes, excellent. Read it again. They were writing a letter. They were writing a letter. Now let's move to another activity. Choose the correct answer. I was or were playing football. What's the suitable choice? I. I was. I was playing football. I was playing football. Next. They swimming. Was or were? What's the suitable choice? Yes, perfect. Where? They were swimming. They were swimming. Dima listening to music. Dima listening to music. Was, where? Yes, perfect, was. Dima was listening to music. Dima was listening to music. We running. Was or where? What's the suitable choice? Yes, very good. We were running. We were running. Now, let's stop here and have a short break. Welcome back. How do we form negative sentences in the past continuous tense? To make negative sentences in the past continuous tense, we should add not between was or were and the main verb ending with ing. Was not and the short form wasn't. Were not and the short form weren't. Wasn't working. Weren't working. Let's read some examples. I wasn't working, she wasn't working, he wasn't working, it wasn't working. You weren't working, we weren't working, and they weren't working. Repeat again. I wasn't working. She wasn't working. He wasn't working. It wasn't working. You weren't working. We weren't working. And the last one is... They were twerking. Now, let's have an activity. Give the following sentences in their negative forms. I will give you a sentence and you should make it negative. Ben was listening to music. Ben was listening to music. How can you make it negative? Yes, very good. Add not between was and listening. Was not becomes, yes, excellent, wasn't. Ben wasn't listening to music. Ben wasn't listening to music. Next. I was doing my homework. 
make it negative. Very good. I wasn't doing my homework. I wasn't. Was plus not wasn't. I wasn't doing my homework. The next one. They were preparing food. They were preparing food. Where? Weren't. Yes, very good. They weren't preparing food. They weren't preparing food. The last one. Amy was writing an email. Amy was writing an email. How can you make it negative? Yes, very good. Amy wasn't writing an email. Amy wasn't writing an email. Now, make negative sentences. Look at this child. You should use the verb play. Notice here, you should make negative sentences. The child wasn't or weren't. Yes, very good. The child wasn't playing. The child wasn't playing. Look at them and you should use the verb watch. The children wasn't or weren't. Very good. The children weren't watching a film. The children weren't watching a film. Look at this lady and the verb here, read. I wasn't reading. I wasn't reading. Now, let's make yes no questions. How do we make yes no questions in the past continuous tense? The past tense of verb to be was, where, comes before the subject. Then the main verb ending with ing and you should end it with the question mark. Let's have some examples. Was she sleeping? Was she sleeping? Notice here, the past tense of verb to be was comes before the subject. Was she? Was she sleeping? Were they sitting in the garden? Again, notice here, the past tense of verb to be comes before the subject. Were they? Were they? Let's read the examples again. Was she sleeping? Were they sitting in the garden? Now, let's move to some activities. Make a questions, answer your questions. Look at these children. Where? Were the children running? Were the children running? How could we answer this question? Yes. They were. Yes, they were. In negative form, were the children eating? No, they weren't. They were running. They were running. Were the children eating? No, they weren't. They were running. The next one. Look at this girl. Was. Was the girl jumping? Was the girl jumping? Yes, she was. Yes, she was. And in negative form? Was the girl running? Was the girl running? No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She was jumping. No, she wasn't. She was jumping. The last one. Look at these children. Where? Were the children singing? Were the children singing? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Again here, notice. The past tense of verb to be comes before the subject in the question, but in the answer it comes after the subject. Were the children reading? No, they weren't. They were singing. No, they weren't. They were singing. Now, let's stop here and have a short break. We'll come back. Let's practice. What was the family doing yesterday evening? What was the family doing yesterday evening? Listen and repeat. Look at Omar. Omar was writing. Omar was writing. Again, Omar was writing. Ali, Tom, and Hiba were cooking. Ali. Tom 
and Hiba were cooking again. Ali, Tom, and Hiba were cooking. Fadi was reading. Fadi was reading again. Fadi was reading. Now read the previous sentences again. Omar was writing. Ali, Tom, and Hiba were cooking. Fadi was reading. Now, let's move to another activity, match. Look at the pictures carefully. Number one, he fell badly and broke his ankle. He jumped to hit the ball. He was playing football. Now match. Number one, he fell badly and broke his ankle. Yes, very good. It's C. He jumped to hit the ball. Which picture? He is very good. B. He jumped to hit the ball. He is very good. B. Ben was playing football. Now let's move to another activity. Correct. Number one. Ben is listening to music yesterday evening. Is it correct to say as? It is very good. You should use was. Ben was listening to music yesterday evening. The next one. Amy was right, animal. Is it correct to say just right? Yes, very good. Writing. Amy was writing an email. Amy was writing an email. The next one. They digging in a dry river. Is it correct to say just digging? Yes, very good. Were digging. They were digging in a dry river. The next one. They was watching a film. They was watching a film. What's wrong in this sentence? Yes, very good. They were. They were watching a film. Now, let's move to another activity. Answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. What was the girl doing? What was the girl doing? The girl becomes she. Yes, very good. She was writing a letter. She was writing a letter. Again, let's read the question and the answer. What was the girl doing? She was writing a letter. She was writing a letter. Let's move to the next. Look at this boy. What was the boy doing? What was the boy doing? The boy becomes he. He was eating pizza. He was eating pizza. Again, let's read the question and the answer. What was the boy doing? He was eating pizza. Let's move to the next. What was the baby doing? What was the baby doing? He was sleeping. Again, let's read the question and the answer. What was the baby doing? He was sleeping. Now let's move to another activity. What were they doing? Last night at 8 o'clock. Again, what were they doing last night at 8 o'clock? Look at the boy. Watch TV. The boy was watching TV. The boy was watching TV. The next one. Look at this child and the verb sleep. He was sleeping. He was sleeping. The next one. Look at this girl. Read a book. Read a book. The girl was reading a book. The girl was reading a book. Look at these children. Play computer games. Play computer games. They were playing computer games. They were playing computer games. That's all for the past continuous tense for today. I hope you enjoy it and got benefit. Goodbye.